Is it possible to scale up, to scale up a monkey or scale up a lizard to the size of King Kong or Godzilla using perhaps radiation or some kind of mutation? Well, you may be disappointed. The answer is no. And why is that? I hate to be the party pooper, but, well, here's where science comes in. It turns out that if you have King Kong or Godzilla and they took one step, their legs would break. Because if you increase the size of a lizard or a chimpanzee to these enormous distances, the weight increases dramatically. In fact, if you double the size of a chimpanzee, the weight goes up by a factor of eight because the weight goes as the volume, and the volume goes as the cube. So if you are twice as big as you are normally, you weigh eight times more. But your strength, your strength depends on the cross-sectional area of your limbs and your muscles. Your muscles only go up by a factor of four, because that is the area of your cross-sectional area of your arms and your legs. So King Kong, if he's twice as big, is eight times heavier but only four times stronger. So in other words, relatively speaking, he's twice as weak, which means that if you scale up King Kong or Godzilla to these enormous distances, the weight is so massive that the bones would break. Now, this also goes in the opposite direction. The smaller you are, proportionally, the stronger you are. That's why, for example, bugs, if you think about it, are quite strong for their weight. If you take a look at an ant, an ant can pick up a leaf many times bigger than itself. So some people say ants would be able to pick up a house if, we, if they were the size of a house. Wrong. If an ant were scaled up to the size of a house, its legs would break. It would not be able to pick up a house. So why is it that an ant can pick up a leaf? Because of the opposite effect. Because it's 100 times smaller than us, it is actually proportionally a hundred times stronger than us because it has very little body weight but loss of muscle. That's why figure skaters and gymnasts are small people. Have you ever been to the Olympics or seen interviews with these gymnasts and figure skaters? They look normal, but they're not. They're actually small people. The television, of course, focuses in on them, so you think they have normal proportions. But they are smaller than normal, and that helps because they have less mass to throw around with the same amount of muscle. And so that's why King Kong is not possible. But however, figure skaters and gymnasts, they are tiny people. <laughs> 